In 1572, we see the spook Gregory as he closes a deep jail cell on a high mountain. Then we hear a woman's voice shouting and asking him to free her. But Gregory puts a magic powder on the gate, then rides his horse and leaves her. Years go by, and we learn that the woman in the cell is a witch and named Malkin. On the day of the full blood moon, she regains her power and frees herself from the jail cell. We see Gregory as he travels with his trusted apprentice William, and they have been working together for a while. The two of them take a break in a local inn. Although Gregory becomes old, he gets into a fight with the locals and manages to defeat them without any problem. William and Gregory continue their journey and soon they arrive at a church where there have been supernatural activities lately. A priest runs out and warns them that there is a possessed woman in the church. William gets all the necessary weapons for this attack, and Gregory also prepares. The two enter the church and there they find a scary girl. They try to control her, but Gregory realizes that this woman is possessed by Malkin, and he can't believe that she has gotten free from her cage. William tries to stop Malkin, but she is just too powerful. He is killed in the attack, and Gregory must face the witch all alone. But she transforms into a giant dragon and escapes. Gregory is furious and promises that he will get his revenge and capture her once more. We are then introduced to Tom. He is the seventh son of a seventh son, which means he is destined to serve Gregory and have a great destiny. But Tom doesn't know any of this, and he currently lives a pretty boring life with his mother and family in a faraway forest. He spends his days yearning for adventure and traveling far away. His mother didn't reveal much of his origin, so Tom thinks he is totally normal. Tom hates that he must work on a farm and feed the pigs every day. The only thing is that Tom has visions every day, and these these visions are painful, and he sees certain people he has never met. During one of his visions, his mother arrives to help calm him down. Gregory arrives on a boat, and Tom's mother notices him, and goes to confront Gregory. They are both very hostile to each other, as she doesn't want Tom to leave with Gregory. She tries to hide the fact that Tom is the seventh son. But Gregory goes into the house, and recognizes Tom as his new apprentice right away. Gregory is a bit worried, as Tom seems very skinny and weak. Tom says goodbye to his family, and his mother orders him to be careful. She wants him to survive this, and return to her. She also gives him a special talisman necklace, and tells him to never take it off. Tom's mother demands that Gregory promises to bring back her son, but that is an impossible promise to make. They begin their journey, and Tom is a bit scared of his new master. While traveling, Tom has to carry all the gear, while Gregory is on his horse. The two enter a forest, and heavy rain comes down. Tom wants to know about Gregory, but Gregory isn't very interested in sharing. Tom is interested in what happened to Gregory's previous assistant, and Gregory then reveals that his last assistant was killed by Malkin. Tom is really scared of Malkin, as she is the legendary queen of all witches. Tom meets one of Gregory's main allies and is called Tusk. Gregory and Tom also talk about Tom's training, and Gregory reveals that the blood moon ritual will happen in less than a week. So Tom has to train really fast. Tom is angry at this because he can't be expected to learn everything in a week, and he wants to be trained like all the other apprentices. Gregory has no patience for Tom and tells him that if he doesn't train, he will surely die in battle. That same night, Gregory tells Tom that he mustn't leave his room as it can be dangerous. Tom of course doesn't listen and gets attacked by a magical knight. But Gregory saves him at the last moment. They start a grueling training session as Gregory wants to test Tom. They have a long journey ahead of them and they decide to train Tom while traveling to Malkin's fortress. Malkin travels to her old fortress and there she rebuilds everything. Her fortress was totally destroyed, but by using her magic, she makes it perfect and new. She also finds her older sister Boney, and restores her appearance and power. Boney was burned and lost everything, but now she can regain her strength and join her sister. Malkin then prepares for a special ritual that must take place during a blood moon. If she manages to complete this ritual, she will be all-powerful and nobody will stop her. Meanwhile, Tom and Gregory arrive at a giant town. There are many festivals happening, and also there is a witch that is about to get burned at the stake. 
Tom remembers her because she appeared in one of his visions, and her name is Alice. He then decides to help her, and he frees her from her captors. She and Tom start talking, and obviously they have a specific connection. Alice knows that Tom is working for Gregory, so she tells him to not reveal who she really is. Tom is very charmed by Alice, and he isn't sure if she is really a witch. Alice plays around with him, and soon enough she leaves. It's revealed that Alice is actually a spy that is working with Malkin. Alice is actually Boney's daughter, and she was sent to keep an eye on Gregory and Tom. Malkin tells Alice that she is very proud of her, and that their entire family will become very strong and powerful, and decides to use her magic to summon her former armies and allies. While on their travel, Gregory gets invited to a very distant city. He is invited there by an inquisitor, who has attacked one of Malkin's soldiers. Gregory is very interested in this, so he and Tom travel to see what has happened. The Inquisitor reveals that many of his soldiers died after trying to capture the creature known as Urag. When Tom and Gregory arrive, the creature is tied up and being tortured, and Gregory orders Tom to burn the creature with a flame. Tom has never taken a life, and he doesn't feel comfortable just burning a creature alive like this. Gregory is disappointed, and he thinks that Tom is too weak. He then takes the torch and burns the creature. Tom continues his travels with Gregory, he also trains more. After some time, he meets up with Alice once again. The two talk about their lives and express that they have feelings for each other. Tom and Alice are now in love, and they even start to plan how to escape this life and just travel away. He starts to plan how to run off with her, but he then has a vision. In this vision, Gregory is killed by Malkin, and she then releases all her evil magic onto the world, and a lot of innocent people die. So Tom decides that he must honor his duty and continue working with Gregory. Tom once again goes to meet with Gregory, and this time Gregory decides to be more honest. Gregory admits that he was the one who captured Malkin all those years ago, but he was also in love with her. Gregory was originally supposed to kill Malkin, but because he loved her, he placed her inside a prison for years. Gregory now feels guilty for every person she has killed because he couldn't kill her, and tells Tom that witches aren't to be trusted and they should all be killed. They then get attacked by a giant bogget creature. Tom manages to kill the creature but is also taken away by a giant waterfall. Tom is then attacked by Boney, but the necklace that his mother gave him protects him from her magic. After the battle is done, Gregory is impressed that Tom managed to survive, and he realizes that Tom's necklace is actually an umbran stone, and this stone increases the power of a witch. Malkin was actually the original owner of the stone, but a witch betrayed her and took it for herself, and it's then revealed that Tom's mother was actually that same witch. Because of Tom's mother, Malkin was weak enough for Gregory to trap her in that prison all those years ago. Malkin then orders Alice to steal the stone by any means necessary, and she also tricks Alice and promises that Tom will be spared and they can live happily together. Malkin meets up with her new followers and they attack the same city where the creature was killed. And Malkin wants revenge for the death of the creature. Tom's entire family is in the city during the attack, and his mother must once again use her magic to defend the innocent people. His mom kills Malkin's allies, and then she faces off against Malkin herself. Malkin and Tom's mom use their powers in a fight but Malkin is too strong. Unfortunately, Tom's mother is killed in the battle, and Malkin makes fun of her for giving away the stone that could have saved her life. She then continues her cruel attack on the city. Alice finds Tom once again, and she she asks him to leave these lands with her. She truly cares about him and wants him to be far away from the coming battle. Gregory finds them and he wants to kill Alice, but Tom stops him. Alice manages to escape as Tom holds back Gregory. Gregory then realizes that Alice has stolen Tom's necklace and that she was a traitor this entire time. They all run after Alice to get back the necklace that she stole, and Malkin sends her servant Radu to attack them. Radu manages to capture Gregory and then Tom and Tusk fall off the cliff. Radu thinks that both of them are dead, and his mission is over. Tom then wakes up to a vision of his mother. She reveals that he is the son of a witch and a seventh son, so he can defeat Malkin. Malkin gathers all her minions, and she goes to talk with a captured Gregory. She tries to seduce him, but Gregory doesn't want to be with her. Alice is really sad when she learns that Tom is dead, so she betrays Malkin and releases Gregory. Malkin then changes into a dragon, and her sister Boney decides to fight her to protect her daughter. 
Tom arrives and teams up with Gregory to defeat the forces of evil. They manage to kill many of the soldiers of evil. Malkin kills Boney in a fight, but she also gets injured. Gregory and Malkin have one final fight. And finally, they kill Malkin forever. Alice and Tom part ways as they are on opposite sides, but they do promise to meet each other in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you in the next video. Back in my bag and I got to brag I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel.